Today's little delicacy is chicken wings. Get this big bad boy out. Right, little tip when you're coring out, never go through on hammer. Eagle eyes, next door neighbour. Tease the wrong way around. Just start to feel it tightening on now. I got sick of buying tile drill bits. So basically, I bought 20 of them. Ooh, here we go, queuing up. Ready for the jab. <laughs> Right, swung back in this job this morning. Today's little delicacy is chicken wings. <laughs> Look at this. I'm not going to go home at this rate. You go to a posh restaurant and you get slates where your dinner serves on a bit of slate. Here we get a bit of fucking timber. Sustainability is the name Reusable. Right, Friday morning, back down at this job that's now got plaster, completely plastered, and we come to get the shower tray in and connect it onto the waste outside for this one. So uh, we'll have a look. I've got to strip it all back, I'll do a lot of measuring and whatnot just to make sure it's bang on because let me just show you. Because the tray is going to go in here. So we're having the the waste right at the back there. We've got to take this block and beam floor, drill through for the waste because they don't want nothing showing up externally the other side. Waste here, tray's going here, so they've got to get the chippy to make a complete frame up on the bottom. Because what they want is, where the floor is, they want it going flush, or as good as flush, so we've got to go flush into the tray, but we've got tiles, 10 mil tile, plus adhesive, so we've got to work out exactly to get it completely flush into the tray. So it'd be a bit fiddly this one, I think. Or not fiddly, just, so it'd be a little bit of a, a pain to get it set right, but once it's in, it should be fine. Get this big bad boy out. I'll go for that one. Right, so what we've got to do is, we sent the pilot bit through, so we just call the hole through now, and the lads are outside, get the floor out. So it's going to come through here, just down there, along here, through this trench, into that gully, uh, into that one. So you've got the core drill on, into the drill, and there's the pilot hole, just there. So we'll fire that through, and then we can work and get this base sorted out, chippies in the middle of building that up. So we'll get this blasted out. Right, little tip when you're coring out, never go through on hammer. Always go through on just a spin. It just cuts it better. If you hammer it, just knack as the teeth, knack as the chuck, knack as the drill. So always go through on uh, just, uh, just the normal spin one. Can get in there now. It's a tough old wall, this. Right, so we've got the base made up, holes cored out, base is made up, and then we'll just drop in. So the tray will sit on there, we'll get it all screwed down and set, we've got the waste and that to go in, yeah. <clears throat> but now we're just going to measure the depth of the tray here, allow for the grout, the tile, so it's all flush into one. Right, so the chippy's bolted the a frame to the side and packed it all out. And then we've got, so this is set 22 mil lower than the finished floor, so that when the tray's sitting on here, going to sit about 12 to 14 mil higher than the floor so when the tiles go on it then sits flush and all runs into one so we'll get the tray in now offer it into position set the ways get that out of the wall get it all sort of test fitted in and then we can start bonding it in all right so because this tray's got this sort of recess bit to allow for they put like a 
like a plate, like a, the same as the tray, but so it just looks like, so you can't see the, the waste on it. So, but to allow for that, it's recessed here. So what I've had to do is mark up the, the base there. We're gonna have to cut that out to allow for that bit to sit in. Right, so that's that cut out. We'll get the tray in now, over here. So we'll get this, we'll get it laid, lay in. Just as a temp, just as a test fit, just to see the floor levels and stuff like that. And then we can get it out, get the waste set through the wall. Just walked past this on this job, got spotted. Eagle eyes, next door neighbour. Look at this. Look at that. Wrong way. Let me spin it round. There you go, look. It's coming out of there. T's the wrong way around. See? Eagle eyes next door. There's fucking alarms going off now on the van. That's, that's not the van. Ah, oh, again. Look, these fucking fittings. Had it on the other job not so long ago. And get a, I need to get a couple of them and adapters and keep them on the van. I keep forgetting to put them in there. But look, for fuck's sake, so it won't even fit through. Fucking hell, just pisses you off. You know, when you're on a job and you just want to get this in done. So now I've got to shoot off to the, to the merchants and pick up an adapter for that. Right, right. shopping run, off to the merchants, get the adapter for that trap, pick a sandwich up while I'm on my way, and also while I'm here, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment below for anything you see in the video or you want to know anything, or what videos you want me to do in future, pop a comment below. Right, let's go and pick these bits up. Right, so after a right faff about, with no adapters to get onto my solvent, we get, we've got to put it in um, push fit, and then what I'll do is push fit into a mechanical elbow, then off into solvent. I'm sure the YouTube massive, there's always someone that knows better. Oh, you should have used this, this, and this, and this. They didn't have any, so that's the only way of uh, getting onto it today. The time we've got and whatnot, so that's the way it's going. As long as it don't leak and it works right, it doesn't matter what you use. We've put that in in rigid, um, rigid pipe where that's going outside. There's a tiny little bit of movement in it, which is great, which is what we want. So I've worked out for that little lip on the bottom of the shower tray, that's where it needs to go. So it's center of that line, give or take. Center of that line coming across where that's coming out. We've got a little bit of movement on it. So what we'll do now is get the tray into position, um, get it all sealed in and do, basically you've got, you've got one chance, well, I say one chance, drop it in, we'll drop it this way actually, and then connect that up. Luckily on this one, it's got quite a nifty little, little uh, seal on the tray. I'll show you now. So with this tray, you've got this seal here so this sits, which we can do now, this sits internally into there, if I can get it in. There we go. So it sits like that. And it says in the uh, instructions to not put any sort of sealant on it, which, okay. And then this, it's quite good because it just pushes into place. So that's that's pushed into place. So we can push that plastic bit in afterward. We can get the tray in and then even just put the rubber grommet in and put that in. But it just holds that in place because you probably know when you come to connect the bottom of the tray up sometimes to the trap, it just moves around so much. And then the underside of it, Got a rubber seal around there, so when it clamps with the bolts, screws, it all pulls together nicely. So what we'll do now is offer this tray into position, and then hopefully get it in. 
All right, so what we'll do now, I've got the tray in here. I'm just going to dry fit it. I'm just going to put it into position, lay it down, and uh, just see how it sits with the waist and stuff like that. So that's test fitted in. Looks a treat, it looks really nice. So what we'll do now, we'll get it out, get it siliconed in. I always bed my trays on silicon. People use CT1, tile adhesive, loads of different stuff. But I've always used silicon. I'm sure there'll be people going, oh, I should do this, that, the other. And I just put silicon around the outside. People go, oh, use Classy Seal. I don't. If you do, fine. I don't. I just do silicon around it. It's tried, tested. I know it works. I know I don't get any issues. So, but whenever I do a tray, people always go, can't believe you haven't used Classy Seal. What did you use before? You had Classy Seal. So, uh, that's how I do it. Right, we'll get it out and have a look. So that's down into position now. Silicon, un <coughs> silicon underneath. So we get the waist connected, seal around it, get this board back in, seal down this back edge. We've checked it for level, everything's level on it. But it's got the internal fall on it. Anyway, it's quite a good fall on this one actually. And then they give it a good clean over. <clears throat> right, so we've got the waist in, we've got the ring in with the washer inside it, all put into place. And then as you can see, we've got these screw holes that are gonna line up. So never do them up one, two, three, four. You've got to go opposite. One, two, three, four. Just to spread the spread the tension when you tighten it up. So we'll get that done now. So we just get the screws in, in just started. So it's holding the actual bottom of the trap on and then we can tighten. I mean, that order that I just said to you about. All right, so we'll start with this one. Each one, just a little bit each. tension on it now. Just start to feel it tightening on now. I'm just quite wary of it's a shame there's not some sort of lines inside it that tell you when it's you know all the way home sort of thing. It's very tightened in now, I think got the internal seal on it, seal on the knee, seal on the top. So going on the uh, instructions, that's exactly how it should go. We know silicon on the on that trap bit. Right, so now we'll get this board back in and get sealed up all the way around. Right, so there we go, I siliconed it all in, put loads in there because we're going to tile down there anyway, as normal. Trays in, sealed in. Some people use, I say, some people use classy seal. I just use silicon. If you want to use classy seal, carry on. I'll use silicon. So we come here, once it's tiled down to it, sealed it again, it'll be perfect. So before they tile, they'll uh, seal all the walls in and everything like that. And then we've got, this is that job with that big massive uh, 
shower on. So yeah, so that's in. Just connects it outside, job done. It's also got one of those finishers to go on there. I'll find out so we can pop it in just to show you what it's like. So there you go, that's what it looks like with the finishing plate. So we've got it all sealed around there. There's a few little marks just where it's been damp. Oh, come on. Give it a clean up. Right, just got home from work, Friday, finished early Friday because I've got to go now and have my COVID jab. But I've just had my delivery for tile drill bits. A lot of people ask me about the tile drill bits I use on my videos. So I'll spin the camera around and show you. Right, so I got sick of buying tile drill bits. You know, these these ones and these ones. You know, with the, the diamond cut. No, it's not. Yeah, diamond cut ends on them. Are you paying sort of like 10, 12 quid for each one of them? And they last, honestly, they don't last long at all, even when you try and keep them wet and everything. So basically, I bought 20 of them for, seven, I think, 14 quid for 20 of them. And the same for these, 14 quid for 20 of them. And they literally last. They're just as good as the, uh, the ones that you pay, like a tenner each. So you get all of them for like, you know, 30 quid. It's an absolute no-brainer. So I'll put the link on and get yourself some of them. Save a lot of money. All right, a little early finish today. I've got my jab, COVID jab, in about 10 minutes' time. So knocked off a little bit early. When I got changed, jumped in the car, come over and get my jab, get that done, and chill out for the weekend. So hope you enjoyed the videos, and see you next week. Here we go. Cheering up, ready for the jab. Oh yeah, and before I forget, uh, on PB Plumbers, on Pete's channel, I've done a, a section for his I Fucked Up um, segment at the end of his video, so I'll stick a link up in the corner, and go and check that out. Right, have a good weekend. Ciao.